Good morning, everybody. It's the uh, 13th. The 13th. It's the 13th. It's the 13th of December 2020. How you doing, everybody? It's Camo Dave here. Gonna do some errands this morning. It's I like getting out on a Sunday morning, doing the errands, and just kind of staying away from other people. Saying it's because I'm antisocial. Like, I love these people. I don't know. You know, I, I, you know, I say, you know, in my comments, I say almost nothing really bad about anybody. If you really watch my videos, I you know I'm very, even when I'm critical of somebody, I'm always kind of nice to them. I really, you tell me anytime in a comment. In my, at least on my verbal comments on my channel that I've ever said anything really nasty about anybody, I, you know, I'm, I'm very careful not to do that. And I love people that I think get re re referred over to my channel from other channels. You know, oh, go check out that Kemo Dave, he's a mean bastard. And then, you know, they don't watch my videos and then I, they post these comments. Kemo Dave, you are the meanest troll there ever was. You have no life. You are so horrible. You, why are you such a mean, evil, wicked person, Camo Dave? And I'm like, <laughs> whoa, did you, did you ever watch one of my videos? You know, they all, other channels will say, go, that Camo Dave, he's so mean. And then they don't even watch my videos, which I can tell they don't. And they're just like, oh my gosh. And then, and then you get the people that come over to my channel because of those comments from other channels. And then they go, you know, Dave, I've been watching your videos and you're a pretty nice guy, you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. It is just funny. I just, I laugh. You know what, you know what you got to do these days is just laugh. Ha! <laughs> like that all the time everywhere you go just laugh <laughs> in public on a bus you know in the restaurant <laughs> when the line at the bank <laughs> laugh everybody just laugh <laughs> It's funny, uh, I, the North Carolina License Plate Bureau, uh, they've obviously, you know, they hand, they put certain license plates in certain areas, okay? So I guess uh, <laughs> they have, there are, li in, in Morganton, I guess the License Plate Bureau here, they got the H-E-E -E and the H-H-A prefixes on the license plates, okay? You know, there's three letters and four numbers, and you see a lot of he and ha license plates around Morganton. H-E-E -E and H-H-A. I've got an H-H-A. I like the H-H-A. Ha! <laughs> it's like I'm laughing. Hee-haw! <laughs> but you drive around town and anybody that has a fairly you know, new license plate, it's either H-E-E -E or H-H-A. Hee-haw! Hee-haw! <laughs> Whoa. Uh, what I want to talk about today is smart cars, okay? Uh, car Wizard, good channel. I just started watching them. I watch a lot of car channels. I do watch Doug DeMuro. I do watch uh, Regular Guys. Uh, there's a lot of car channels I watch. I have Scotty Kilmer. I love watching him. And there's a channel called Car Wizard, which I hadn't known of before. Somebody sent me the link. I want to shout out to uh, uh, Rick. Ricky Poo, who sent me the uh, link to Car Wizard, and it had a bit a video on the smart car. You know, and then we have a certain nomad who I'm not going to mention because he doesn't really want me talking about him that much anymore. Uh, is uh, you know he bought a smart car, which I th I like the smart cars. You see them in big cities because it's hard to park, the traffic's bad. You know, I, in Washington D.C., you see quite a few smart cars when you get out to the suburbs, to the rural areas. No, you don't. I actually, surprisingly enough, was thinking I have not seen a smart car since I've been living here in Morganton, North Carolina, in the western foothills of the Appalachian Mountains uh, for um, the whole time I've been living here, pretty much. Except yesterday, I saw one. It was like, whoa, that was weird. <laughs> I saw one. So anyway, uh, they're nice cars. I think they're cute. I like little cars. This is Little Adam. He's a VW Golf Rabbit. It's not as little as a smart car, but I like it. I love driving little cars around. 
this is a nice car. It's got five cylinders. It's really peppy. But I, you know, most people don't laugh at this car. Okay, it's like you know, you see a lot of cars this size. For small cars, this is a fairly normal size small car. Uh, but uh, you know, a smart car is yeah, really little. Doesn't have a back seat. So Car Wizard does a, a video on the smart car, and it, he says it's a nice little car. You know, it's got 70 horsepower, but for being as little as it is, a three-cylinder engine, you know, it's it's a you know a funky transmission. It's kind of an automatic manual, whatever. Uh, he said it's a nice little car. He says the problem with the smart cars, so, though, is that, you know, uh, you know they don't make them anymore, at least, or, or sell them anymore, or at least over here. There are no dealers here over at all. And, and you know, cars that are, like, from 2013, I think that's where this uh, particular Nomad that bought one is a 2013. Anyway, um, you know, they don't make them over, so it's hard to find anyone that services them. You know, a lot of mechanics don't work on them, a lot of, de you know, usually, you know, if you have a funky uh, car, you know, you can usually find the dealer and they'll handle it for you. You know, if mechanics won't work on it, but he says even, even, that, even those cars, it's hard to find anybody to work on them. And it's hard to get parts on them. You know, you have to, you know, you have to send away to Europe and then have the parts shipped over and then they have to go through somebody here before the dealer can, or for the repair place can get them. So it could be a wait of a while to get the parts. And he says you can't go into like an auto zone and buy parts for them because, you know, they have their, their specific things. So, you know, you, the problem with it is they get to be somewhat expensive and somewhat hard to fix. So if you have a problem in your, and this lady that owns the smart car that he was talking about, Mr. Uh, car Wizard, said, you know, it was a fairly common problem in cars, but it was a lot of work to get it fixed because, you know, you had to, you know, it was hard to get the parts. He said, uh, they're, they're, I think they're made by Daimler or something, which is is the Mercedes company over there in uh, Euro. And even Mercedes-Benz dealers, which are Daimler, won't, won't service the smart cars. You are, it's hard to find a dealer. And especially if you're in not a big market. Now, if you were in Los Angeles or something, which is a huge market, you could probably find some local mechanic that would work on your smart car for you. But anyway, I don't know. It's just kind of weird, huh? So anyway, uh, so yeah, so this particular nomad that bought the smart car, when he does need some service on it, it's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, if he can find uh, how to get it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. So anyway, uh, but that could be good content for him, you know. That could be some good content, you know, trying to get my smart car serviced. And you know it would be a good channel? I would enjoy it, actually, if he did some camping in the smart car. You know, this guy, I think, bought the smart car just to go traveling around in because he's got a big Class A and it's kind of hard to do that and that. But I would like it if he would get the smart car and, you, and do some camping in the smart car. You know, that would be cool, you know, trying to sleep in a smart car or at least have a tent in the smart car and bring it along. Along with you as you uh, do your camping. I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe um, uh, 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 Steve Wallace there up in Canada. That would be funny to get this guy's smart car and try camping in it. You know, we're trying to live in your smart car in the Walmart parking lot, which is where I am right now. I'm gonna run in, grab a few things. I'll be right back. Done. I'm done. I'm quitting YouTube. <laughs> Look at that. There's a uh, white beetle. I had one just like that back in uh, 2020, 20, 20, 2002. I bought one in 2002. <sighs> it's a nice car. Actually, those Beetles are nice cars, the uh, new Beetles. The, uh, if you don't care about the back seat, I think they'd be better than a smart car because at least the front seat is pretty roomy and they do have, uh, they're easily serviced. They're basically a Golf with a Beetle uh, body on it, a Beetle body. But that would be a cool car to be, uh, you know, uh, again, somebody said, uh, my doc center said that I should uh, start, start a channel called Beater Car Journeys where I'm driving around in my beater car and uh, dealing with all that and living in it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live in this car, but but I could, you know, it, it would be a tight tight fit in the back seat there. If with the back seat down, you got a little area back there and I could squeeze in there and sleep. The problem with that is, you know, this is a two uh, door car, it's not a four door. So it'd be really a pain in the butt to get in and out of the car <coughs> with that. I don't know. 
it's just, you know, in an emergency, if you really, really had to do it, I guess you could do it, but I wouldn't want to do that for anything more than maybe one night in a row. <laughs> Jeez. I do have a lot of, uh, I do, I do, you know, what I said was I, I really like seeing people living in small vehicles. I like seeing the simple living. I like seeing people in their, va their vans and stuff like that and, and you know, small things. I li like that. And, uh, you know, to try to live in a small, a smart car, at least, or at least camp in one for a little while would be kind of interesting, I think. You know, we don't, we haven't, you know, that could, that would be something, you know, go out for a week or two in your smart car and live in it <laughs> and see how that works. Now, you may take a tent with you. You could have a tent or something. So if you were in a warmer climate, you know, you could live in your tent, do tent camping, obviously, but, you know, to have everything in that smart car that you would need for camping. I think that would be an interesting channel. I don't know. I give people good ideas. You know, the other day I said that uh, Dave 2D should uh, start drawing pictures of other nomads, you know, because he's been doing, or painting, he's been painting, right? I said he needs to be painting other nomads. And, uh, and you know what? He started painting uh, this character called Morgani or something, which was, you know, it's, it's his way of painting Morgan, Unstoppable Morgan. And then she threw him 550 bucks on Super Chat. Uh, I was kind of disappointed that she wasn't on my Super Chat last night. <laughs> I was like, Morgan! I'll draw, I got a sketch pad here. I'll, you know, boop, 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 boop. You know, what my drawing would look like what a 10-year-old, you know, little kid would sketch a little stick figure. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, I don't know. You know, the, the reason, and somebody said the reason is you can pick up a smart car for 3,000 bucks, which is not a bad price for a car, you know? A car for $3,000. But, you know, there's always a catch. It's like the $26,000 house that Dave 2D bought up there in the Upper Peninsula, Michigan. The low price, there's always a catch, right? I saw a printer in the store the other day that was like uh, 20 bucks. It was a new in the box, $20. And it was a, you know, couple years old model. And I, I did a little bit of research and it's almost impossible to find the printer cartridges for it. They just aren't available. And if they are, they're extraordinarily expensive. And that's why the printer was 20 bucks, okay? Okay, always the low price, there's a reason. There's a reason why that car cost $3,000. There's a reason why that house cost $26,000, okay? There's a reason for that. And uh, I don't know, but it would be interesting to see somebody try to, uh, you know, uh, you know, again, if you're near a big city and you Google uh, a certain city, St. Louis, for example, just randomly out of the hat and see if there's somebody in St. Louis that works on, so, on small cars, uh, smart cars, small, small, smart cars. You know, I don't know. There's, there's got to be some mechanic there that does that. Or there's probably somewhere you can find mechanics around that deal with it. You know, but uh, it would seem to be a bit of a quandary if you need some work done on it. Which is pretty much what happens to all cars, especially a car that is pushing seven or eight years old. Okay. So anyway, that's, that's my little rant for this morning. Driving around here on a Sunday morning in the fog. In the fog! We've got uh, some winter weather coming middle of the week. I think Wednesday into Thursday. They're saying we could get a little blast of some icy conditions maybe Wednesday night into Thursday and then it's gonna move up the East Coast and maybe dump some significant amounts of snow on uh, parts of Virginia, Pennsylvania, uh, North Jersey, New York, Boston, who knows, you know. So winter is coming. It is, mid it is now mid-December. The 13th, uh, keeping an eye on everybody at Quartzsite. Looks kind of chilly. Got some rain there the other day. Hope everybody's staying safe. You know, there's some clusters of the V in the Phoenix area. And uh, we're all hoping that everybody's staying safe there. And uh, so anyway, so anyway. All right, everybody. So that ought to do it. Thank you so much for watching my little rant this morning. It is the 13th of December, 2020. Uh, yeah, that ought to do it. Oh, there's a car for sale. What is that? Ooh. $79.95, that's a 2013, like one of those little little cars, but it's a station wagon. I don't know, what's that? What is that logo that looks like the little, the logo that looks like this? You know, it's a circle with a gloop gloop in it. Gloop gloop. What's that logo? Anyway, that's 
$79.95. I'll buy it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Blog under.